This video is all about working in multiple projects. If we have multiple projects, and what I really mean by that is multiple folders or multiple GitHub repos. So here I am in VS Code. I already have a folder in here for my site. But let's say we wanted to expand this site a little bit more. We have our front end, which is under my site. But let's say we have a new folder. We'll call it my API. Now VS Code has a cool feature built in called workspaces where I can go up here, file, and there is add folder to workspace. We can open a workspace or we can save a workspace. Or really I can just take this my API, drag it in here. And it says, do you want to copy my API or add my API as a folder to the workspace? I'll add it to this workspace. Do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? Yes, I do. And now we can see two folders, one right here for HTML, CSS website and one for my API. And if I wanted to, I could add my site as well. I think I got the wrong folder there, but let's go ahead and add it. Add folder to workspace. There we go. So now we have three different folders in this workspace and a workspace is really just VS codes way of saying multiple folders in a project. So I can open up index.html here. I can open up this index.html and notice how it has the folder or project name right next to the file name. So I don't get confused at which one is which. And I can close my open editors there. Now the cool thing about this is if you have two Git repos, let's say I went into here and this has already been changed. You can see these Git indicators right here. And if I go into this other index.html file and say exclamation mark, enter there and I'll save. So I have saved this file, but it doesn't look like there have been any changes in the Git panel. And I think that's because this my site doesn't have a Git folder. So it's not really Git source controlled. To do this, I could open up my terminal, right click right here, go to open an integrated terminal. So that opens up this specific folder for my site. And I can do ls-al and I don't see a Git folder right here. So I'll say Git init. And now that I've initialized a new Git repo, we can see there are four changes over here. And you can see which ones are changed. These are green because they're brand new files. This is yellow because it's been changed. So if I go over here and now check this out, we can see changes and we can see my site. So we can see the separation between the two projects in the source control panel. And you can start working with each one separately. So if you have an API in the back end and a front end folder and you have it all in one workspace, that is very helpful to have. By default, VS Code will keep this as an untitled workspace, or you could go up here, file, and save workspace as so that you can keep opening the workspace right here under open workspace. So that's helpful, especially if you're using multiple projects. If you don't want to jump into a mono repo setup, you can use the workspace feature here. I'll go ahead and remove everything. Let me remove this one, remove folder from workspace and I'll remove my API, remove folder from workspace. So all we're left with is one folder and the Git panel only shows that folder. To close out this workspace, all I have to do is close the VS Code window and it says, do you want to save your workspace configuration? I'll click don't save. Let's go ahead and open VS Code again and let's start talking about extensions for working with multiple projects. The first extension I wanna talk about is called Project Manager. If I go over here, let's install it, Project Manager. This is a great way to switch between different projects. If you remember me opening up my Batcave folder, you notice there's probably 10 different projects in there. Let's go over to VS Code and I'll do Command O to open a folder. And I'll go into my Batcave folder, I'll do Productive VS Code Site, and I'll click Open. Now this VS Code is this folder right here, so it's all of the things for the website. But let's say I wanted to switch projects. So the cool thing we can do with the project manager extensions, I can do command shift P, save project. And now project manager will save this project and we can name it and we'll name it productive VS code site, which is just the folder name. I'll press enter. Now let's say we opened up a different project. Let's go back one. 
to the Batcave folder. Let's say we wanted to open up the HTML CSS website. I'll click open. Now we've opened up this folder in VS Code. I'll do Command Shift P, Save Project, and I'll save it as the folder name. All right, so now that we have two projects saved, there are a couple different ways to activate Project Manager. The first way is I can click the folder icon right here in the status bar. I can click that and it'll open up the list of projects that I can switch to. So if I click on Productive VS Code Site, it'll switch to that project. That makes it really quick since I don't have to do Command O and then find the folder in Finder. I can just do it right from this button right here. And we can use the Command Shift P, Command Palette to list projects. And that's Project Manager, List Projects to Open. I'll click that. And now we get the list of projects. The other way we can open projects is the folder icon in our sidebar now. We have Favorites right here, which are the two that we just created. Or there's this handy dandy Git panel right here. So if you have a bunch of folders that are Git source controlled, which every single project in my Batcave folder is, you can just say, hey, Project Manager, go look in that folder and always look in that folder for any Git repos that I can pull in. So I'll go to Open Settings right here. And it doesn't look like it actually went. So let's go for Base Folders for Project Manager. And let's see, any base folders? Nope, we want Git base folder. So let's add an item right here. And I'm gonna paste in my folder structure, which is going to be users slash Chris slash documents slash Batcave. So any Git repos in this folder, please go ahead and open for us. And look at that, immediately it went ahead and said, oh, there are 11 projects that are Git source controlled in this folder. So now instead of manually saving it as a favorite up here, I can just go ahead and say, oh, here's the website. Let's click that. And also there's this right here, which still pulls up the Git repos and our favorite ones that we created manually. So that's a great extension to have, especially when you work with multiple Git repos, which I'm sure we all do. The second extension that I want to talk about when working with multiple projects is called Peacock. And we already have it working here. I have it on this site. You can see the green around on the title bar, the activity bar, and the status bar. And the way we do that is with an extension called Peacock. Let me go and search for Peacock. This is the one by John Papa. I'll click install right here. And we'll click enable. To work with Peacock, you have to do Command Shift P. Search for Peacock and you have to add the recommended favorites. So once you click that, It'll go ahead and add them to your settings. And now if I'm in this project, I can command shift P and say Peacock change to a favorite color. If I change to a favorite color, I can go down the list and change this project to any of these colors. Let's go for React Blue or maybe something different. All right, so now we have something different. There's actually a button down here in the status bar where we can copy the hex value. And the way that Peacock works is it saves it into a .vs code folder under settings.json under color customizations. So Peacock is a tool that helps you create this object, but VS Code can read this object without needing the Peacock extension itself. With these two extensions, we have the project manager extension where we can switch this out. Let's go over to the productive VS Code site again. And since this is a VS Code site, let's change out the color for purple. So I'll see Peacock, change to a favorite color. Let's go for, I believe something different was pretty on the purple side. That orange is fun, let's just do orange. So now when we switch projects or when we have multiple projects open, for instance, let me do Command Shift N, I'll open up another VS Code instance and I'll do Option Command P to switch projects. So now when you have multiple projects open, you can really see the difference when you have one being orange, one being purple. And if you were using Mac, you could quickly switch between the two like this. All right, those are two great extensions to work with multiple projects. Definitely work with workspaces as well. 
But VS Code makes it really nice to work with multiple projects and be able to differentiate between the two.